Israel, a nation often seen as an oasis of technology and economic growth in the Middle East, has a complex narrative that extends beyond its flourishing economy and technological prowess. Beneath its shiny surface of innovation and wealth lies a dark side that is tied to its tumultuous history, contentious politics and economic inequalities. From the foundation of the nation in 1948 to its current status as a regional power, Israel's road to wealth has been paved with innovation, global partnerships and military strength, but also shadowed by ongoing challenges both internal and external. Israel's wealth did not come overnight, it's a story of resilience and ingenuity. From its inception, Israel faced hostility from neighboring countries, constant security threats and economic boycotts. To counter these challenges, it poured its resources into building a strong military industrial complex, developing technologies that would later serve not only its defense sector, but also lead to major breakthroughs in civilian technologies. Israel quickly became known as the startup nation with innovations in cybersecurity, agriculture and pharmaceuticals. The government supported a highly skilled workforce encouraging developments in science, technology, engineering and mathematics. Mandatory military service for all citizens provided a disciplined tech-savvy population and elite units like Unit 8200 became incubators for tech talent, contributing to Israel's dominance in cybersecurity and surveillance technology. Global partnerships, especially with the United States, provided financial aid, political support and market access. Israel's economy transformed from being heavily reliant on agriculture to becoming a high-tech powerhouse, with Tel Aviv now ranking among the top tech hubs in the world. However, this wealth and success have not been evenly distributed. Israel's rapid economic growth has created a stark wealth gap. The rise of the tech sector has brought prosperity to some while leaving others behind. Israel has one of the highest poverty rates in the developed world with nearly one in five citizens living below the poverty line. This economic disparity is felt particularly among the ultra-Orthodox Jewish community and Israeli Arabs who often lack access to the education and resources necessary to break into the tech-driven economy. Housing prices have also skyrocketed making home ownership unattainable for many. Corruption and political scandals have also marred the Israeli political landscape. Long-standing Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu faced numerous allegations of corruption, bribery and fraud, which shook public trust in government institutions. Although Netanyahu denied the charges and argued that they were politically motivated, the accusations sparked a heated debate about transparency and accountability in Israeli politics, raising questions about the nation's commitment to democracy and rule of law. The political instability doesn't stop there. Israel has undergone multiple elections within short periods, creating political gridlock and an inability to address some of the nation's most pressing issues effectively. This instability hinders long-term policymaking and leads to frequent shifts in political alliances leaving the country in a state of uncertainty. Israel's wealth and success have not shielded it from regional conflicts and tensions. Israel's relationship with Palestine remains one of the most enduring and controversial issues in international politics. The conflict over land, sovereignty and identity between Israelis and Palestinians continues to fuel violence, displacements and human rights abuses. The blockade of Gaza, military operations and settlement expansions in the West Bank are met with international criticism and fuel anti-Israel sentiment in the region and beyond. Additionally, Israel's geopolitical position makes it vulnerable to threats from surrounding nations and non-state actors like Hezbollah in Lebanon, Hamas in Gaza and even Iranian influence in Syria and beyond. Maintaining a strong military is both a necessity and a drain on the country's resources, forcing Israel to continuously invest in defense technologies and strategies. The country operates under a constant state of readiness, with frequent rocket attacks and border skirmishes that have the potential to escalate into full-scale conflict. The nation's policy of preemptive strikes targeting what it considers imminent threats in Syria, Lebanon and Iran adds another layer of tension to an already volatile region. Israel's population is a mosaic of diverse communities, from secular Jews to ultra-Orthodox Jews, Israeli Arabs and Druze, each with different religious practices, political views and economic statuses. 
This diversity, while enriching the cultural fabric of the country, also creates internal divisions and social tensions. The ultra-Orthodox community, or Haredim, for instance, have a very different lifestyle compared to secular Jews. They often do not serve in the military and many live in insular communities that rely on government subsidies. The economic gap between these communities and the rest of Israel's population has fueled social friction, particularly over issues like military service exemptions and government welfare. The Israeli Arabs, who constitute about 20% of the population, face systemic discrimination and are often underrepresented in politics and high-paying jobs. Their status in Israeli society remains a contentious issue, with debates about national identity, citizenship rights and the Israeli nation-state law that declares Israel as the nation-state of the Jewish people, a move that many Israeli Arabs see as undermining their status as equal citizens. Internationally, Israel's policies in the Palestinian territories have drawn sharp criticism from human rights organizations in various countries, leading to calls for economic sanctions and boycotts. The Boycott, Divestment and Sanctions BDS movement, aimed at pressuring Israel to change its policies toward Palestinians, has gained support worldwide, impacting Israel's diplomatic and economic standing. At the same time, Israel has made strides in normalizing relations with several Arab countries through the Abraham Accords, establishing formal diplomatic and economic ties with nations like the UAE, Bahrain and Morocco. These agreements represent a significant shift in Middle Eastern politics and have economic benefits for Israel, allowing it to integrate more deeply into the regional economy. However, the Accords have also been criticized as sidestepping the Israeli-Palestinian conflict offering economic gains while leaving the core issues unresolved. Another less talked about issue Israel faces is environmental sustainability. Israel is a country with scarce natural resources, particularly water. Despite being a global leader in water conservation and desalination technologies, it faces ongoing challenges related to water scarcity, land degradation and the need for sustainable agriculture. The nation's rapid urbanization and industrial growth have put additional strain on natural resources, demanding more innovative approaches to balancing economic growth with environmental protection. Israel's story is one of contradictions. It is a nation of immense wealth and innovation, yet it grapples with significant socio-economic disparities. It is a country that champions democracy and progress, but faces internal divisions and political instability. It stands strong as a military power and a technological leader, but is also surrounded by geopolitical threats and regional hostilities. As it continues to navigate these challenges, Israel's future will be defined by its ability to balance its growth, security and the diverse identities of its people, all while managing the pressures of an ever-changing international landscape.